Hi guys, welcome to the Skahoy office. It's weekend and we love to work even on Saturdays. We are so busy shipping out the new stuff and today I'm setting up a configuration for the inline 10 with SDI shield, which is a very interesting value proposition for you if you have Blackmagic cameras you want to shade in the field for instance, or just have a small form factor RCP for your Blackmagic cameras. Now, you may know already the um, RCP V2. This is the new RCP we uh, launched at NAB. It has uh, SDI connectors on the back as an option, so you can shade Blackmagic cameras directly. You can connect it to an ATEM switcher. You can shade many other cameras as well, like the ARIA mirror cameras and uh, small POV cameras, Visca cameras, and so forth. Anyway. It's about the inline 10 and we have it over here. This is the version without the shield and this is the version with the shield which I am looking at today. And I have made a super cool configuration. I want to show it to you. So on these buttons, I have camera selector one through five. When I press this one, I go six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is effectively a shift key. But notice what happens when I press the upper edge of this key. I am rotating what I can adjust for the camera in the upper uh, encoders. And you also see the very, very nice color coding of the encoders. So for instance, uh, well, if I cycle over to the uh, iris, like here, we have iris lift Y, which is the master black. We have shutter speed for the camera and sensor gain. So I press once more and I get gamma Y, gamma R, G and B. This is illustrated with the colors. And then finally here we have hue, saturation and contrast white balance for camera number one. Now let's go and see what happens on the screen. So I have my uh, Blackmagic Micro Studio camera hooked up with the screen here. So you can see that as I am now uh, adjusting the... Um, the hue, <laughs> when will you ever do that? But uh, you can, and uh, you, you can see this. I'm obviously adjusting the camera and I just have a short SDI link over to the camera here to, to make this adjustment out through the SDI output on the inline 10. Now uh, I can of course also adjust the iris of the camera and uh, you saw a little bit jump there. This is what happens if the camera, because I just rebooted this one and the camera was not at 100% iris. So unfortunately with the Blackmagic cameras, we cannot read back values from the camera. We do not know if the camera is already 100% iris or if it is not. So this is what you saw in this case. So that's only a boot up consequence of um, the, the one-way communication. But anyway, you can see I'm adjusting um, the master black and the iris. I can also adjust the shutter speed of the camera, of course, and so forth all by this super cool menu where you can rotate by the upper edge press of the shift key. You rotate through the options here and on the lower edge, you simply toggle forth and back between your camera selector. Now, how did I do all this? Well, it's actually super flexible because you can do it in the Unisketch web interface. So I'm setting, sitting with my um, web browser and configuring this for the inline 10. And uh, you can see I have uh, selected all the encoders on the uh, device and then I can scroll down and you'll see here I have three columns which represent each menu state. So in the first column I have iris, lift, shutter speed, sensor gain set up. On the second column I have the gamma adjustments and over here hue, contrast, saturation and white balance down there. And this is how you do with Skahoy controllers. This is the flexibility you get when you get our hardware. You have the Unisketch software on the controller that gives you this flexibility to adjust. The configuration I'm making right now will be a shipping configuration. So it's default out of the box how it works and it will make sense. But you can always go into this web interface and make adjustments to that configuration when you need it. That's awesome.